Let me ask you about another important issue facing you and your administration, and that is Afghanistan. Yeah. We've now been in Afghanistan for eight years. The Soviets pulled out of Afghanistan after 10 years. Right. Are we committed to this war for an indefinite period of time, or do you think, in your mind, is there a deadline for withdrawal? I don't have a deadline for withdrawal, but I'm certainly not uh, somebody who believes in uh, indefinite occupations of other countries. Uh, keep in mind what happened when I came in. Uh, we had been adrift, I think, when it came to our Afghanistan strategy. And what I said was that we are going to do a top-to-bottom review of what's taking place there. Not just a one-time review, but we're going to do a review before the election in Afghanistan, and then we're going to do another review after uh, the election. And we are going to see how this is fitting what I think is our core goal, which is to go after the folks who killed 3,000 Americans during 9-11 and who are still plotting to kill us, Al-Qaeda. How do we dismantle them, disrupt them, destroy them? Now, getting our strategy right in Afghanistan and in Pakistan are both important elements of that. But that's our goal, and I want to stay focused on that. And, and so right now what's happened is, is that we've had an election in Afghanistan. Uh, it did not go as smoothly as I think we would have hoped, and there are some serious issues in terms of uh, how, that, uh, uh, how the election was conducted in some uh, parts of the country. But we've had that election. We now finally have the 21,000 troops in place that I had already ordered to go. Are you skeptical uh, about more troops, about uh, sending more troops? Well, can I just say this? I, am, I have to exercise skepticism any time I send a single young man or woman in uniform into harm's way because I'm the one who's answerable to their parents if they don't come home. So I have to ask some very hard questions any time I send our troops in. The question that I'm asking right now is to our military, to General McChrystal, to General Petraeus, to all uh, our national security apparatus, is whether it's troops who are already there or any troop requests in the future, how does this advance America's national security interests? How does it make sure that al-Qaeda and its extremist allies cannot attack the United States homeland, our allies, our troops who are based in Europe? That's the question that I'm constantly asking because that's the primary threat that we went there to deal with. And if, uh, if supporting the Afghan national government and building capacity for their army and securing certain provinces advances that strategy, then we'll move forward. But if it doesn't, then I'm not interested in just being in Afghanistan for the sake of being in Afghanistan or saving face or in some way uh, you know, sending a message that uh, America uh, is here for, for the duration. I think it's important that we match strategy to resources. What I'm not also going to do, though, is put the resource question before the strategy question. Until I'm satisfied that we've got the right strategy, I'm not going to be sending uh, some young man or woman over there uh, beyond what uh, we already have.